Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new hardware unboxing today with something mysterious. There could be anything in this very very opaque and in no way transparent box. It could be a keyboard, it could be a gamepad, it could be a brand new video card or it could be a mouse. Yes, this is the Rat Pro X, a mouse made by Mad Cats, a company that does not actually employ deranged felines but it employs human beings. This mouse was sent to us by the people at PC Coolers. They've sent us a lot of stuff over the past couple of uh, weeks. Well, they sent me a big package with stuff, which I'm going to be unboxing for you in the coming days. Uh, you've probably already seen the um, Rokat Sora keyboard. If you haven't, check that out. It's a very nice keyboard. Actually, I think, I think the review of it may be up already. Probably, I don't know. I'm recording these uh, in no particular order. So let's figure out how I can actually take this out of the box. Uh, again, this is a review sample. You can tell by the fact that someone already tore this open. Like this is torn. See, there's a tear there. Someone already broke it. That's not nice. Oh man. I was gonna be the one, I hope to be the one to break it. Okay, so let's open this up slowly. So you have, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's take this out. Oh my god, this thing. Oh boy. I hope this isn't drugs. No, this is the... This is the sensor for it. Oh my god, they sent me a Lego mouse. I'm gonna have to build a mouse, people. Do you wanna build a snowman? No, because I'm building a mouse. Let's take this out. This is the carrying case for it, I'm, I'm uh, presuming. Let's, let's open this up. Okay, let's open this up without breaking it, actually. Can I do it? Yep. Yeah, this is the carrying case for the mouse. They give you a carrying case with it, that's actually nice. They also give you the... Um, this is to clean it. Like, they give you a little thing to clean it and the uh, screwdriver-ish thing to screw it. <laughs> I mean to assemble it. Okay, well, what else in here? Uh, we have... Uh, I'm guessing this is where the cable was. And... Uh, Oh yeah, you have the... Oh god, come on, get, come out of here, come on, come on, get out. And you have the instructions which don't appear to have ever been taken out of the uh, the packaging. So um, I may actually need this, these because I've never assembled a uh, mouse before in my life. I've taken them apart and they have not survived the process of re-entering. And yeah, on the back, well inside the case actually, let's take this out. You have the rest of the mouse. Like this mouse is made to be built by you, by hand. It's a sort of an IKEA mouse. No, the cable is here. So what was in that other thing? How do I get a cable out? Uh, like this. Oh, so that's why it was torn. Some people broke it already. Okay, probably not gonna plug this in because it's currently not built. Let's take out the the single piece as well. Oh boy, come on. How do I take this out actually? It says to push here, now on the left here, what, how do I... Uh, okay... Do I do this? I don't know how to take this out, people. Okay, yeah, just really these clamps, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. That made sense, that almost broke it. I didn't even, I barely got out of the box and I almost, I almost already broke it. Yeah, that's a new record. Okay, so let's put this back. So, this is basically... An alien device. Like I have no idea what to do with this. So is this a button? Is this a button right here? Yeah. Th oh yeah. This this is actually a button. This is an aiming button. No, it's uh, one of those uh, DPI switch, like direct DPI switch. You press it and it switches to. It snaps to some DPI. Uh, this is the Sony DPI switch. Oh, 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 it has. Is it one of those? No. For a second, there I thought it was. It was one of those. Spinny uh, wheels, but no, it just sort of stands there and uh, there's no click to I, I can don't feel a middle click to this. Probably because it has another button here. But no, no, this is actually part of the... Yeah, this mouse has me confused. Like, completely confused. It, it's a confusing mouse, honestly. But you do have these things that'll help it um, become more attuned to what you... I'm not sure if I should be 
using this to play games or put it in a bottle and build it with uh, toothpicks or something. It's uh, it's a very unique mouse, I gotta say. It's probably the most different mouse I've ever had. It, it's odd. Let's take out the uh, the Pixar sensor too. Let's see if I can put this in without breaking it, without damaging it. I can't even take it out of the box yet. Come on, I can do it. I can take it out of the box. I can take a sensor out of the box. I've done... I. Come on, I've installed video cards without complete... Well, I did break the PC some of it. But come on, I can take the sensor out. I can take the sensor out. Come on. Someone... Whoever put, the, it, put it back in sort of uh, placed one of these... The thing on the side, on the other side, right into it and I can't get it out. Probably should have had a toothpick for me or something. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Take it out. Take it out. It's a piece of plastic. Come on. It's just cardboard. This is the most embarrassing thing in the history of humanity. Okay, let's... let's. I had this on hand from the other unboxing, which I just did a few minutes ago and you saw it a few days ago. So let's take this. This thing is stuck in here, so I can't... Okay, yeah. The keycap removal tool works well as a cardboard box uh, enabler. So this is what a sensor looks like. Those are the connection, well, holes, the pins are on the mouse, and this is the sensor itself. The Pixart, what was 5000, one, the Pixart PW, PMW, oh, it's in it upside down, PMW3310. So it's like the Nokia, in that way. And uh, I'm guessing that this thing actually comes with several different types of... Uh, or maybe you can buy different types of sensor for it and just plug them in, whichever one you want. Again, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove these, I'm guessing, to be able to... yeah... To install the sensor, I actually have to remove the, the bits on the side. Holy hell, I, I'm probably gonna have to do a build log for this one to actually show you how it's assembled. Yeah, that's, that's gonna require some work from me. Oh boy. I also have all these other bits, which will probably fall off. Like, where does this go? Like, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna have to, to read this thing. I'm gonna have to take this out of the packaging. So, sorry to whoever was expecting this to be completely sealed and unopened. Yeah, I'm gonna have to open this because I have no idea how to build the Rad Pro X by myself. I need help. Well, I'm not gonna do it now. It's uh, probably gonna take me a couple of hours to do it. What what are these? Like there's there's holes here. Like these things. What? I can't even take them out. Am I supposed to be able to take them out? What are they? they I have no idea. Okay, let's at least put this back. Yeah, I'm. Is this a trans? Is this a Decepticon? Is this gonna try to attack me at night? It probably will. This thing may actually be evil. And it's called Mad Cat, so it's... Ooh, it's a Predacon! Aha! I found out your evil scheme, Megatron! Let's have these things on the side, so... Uh, these things are ceramic ultra-low friction, and these things are... Uh, low friction. So it's... I mean, oh yeah, the, but these these aren't ceramic. Like these are plastic. Like I I can feel them. They're not ceramic. What ceramic then? This is is this ceramic? No, this doesn't feel like ceramics. What what is ceramic about it? I don't know. What's ceramic with you? That joke never makes sense. The way I use it. Also have this, which is um. A different button. Oh, you can put the buttons on either side. No, 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 I don't think you can actually. They're spares, maybe? Uh, uh, I'm guessing it's. Uh, there's no connector for buttons on this side, from what I can tell. Okay, so are they, is this bigger or smaller? They kind of look like the same size. Well, no, 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 wait, no. Uh, no. They are a bit different. No, they're the same. This mouse has me extremely perplexed and confused and 
Let, let's look at. Okay, I'm, I don't even know how to put this back in. But I'm. Um, I'm guessing it was like that. Let's see this one. This is the. Um, um, I'm guessing it goes on this side. Probably. Okay, let's put this back in a way that I have no idea how to put it back in. Guessing that? No, that's not how it went in. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, yeah, that looks okay. Okay, pull this out by... Okay, pull it out like this. Yeah, this probably goes on... Um, well, it goes on this side if you don't want side buttons at all. Or maybe on this side if you do want... I have no idea. I have no clue what to do now. Okay, so let's just put this back and hope I find out how what to do. And I don't know what these rings are. What do the rings do? Also has different kinds of fenders. If you can put a different design on it. it this is just the same but with a green outline. I, I think Mad Cats is trolling us. I, I truly believe that Mad Cats is trolling us at this point. Like I've seen modular mice, the um, well, yeah, the the um, the rockup net didn't have uh, a changeable sensor, but you could slap things on it. It didn't look like it was trying to turn into a uh, a prototype of. Um, What's his face? The guy from the Avengers 2 movie that wasn't all that good. Ultron, yeah. Well, it's gonna be fun building this thing. I'm gonna have to clean this up now. Uh, it's gonna take me a while. So, uh, wish me luck. I'll probably have a review for this in uh, after the keyboard one. So, in about three, two, two ish, three wish weeks. It's gonna be on Thursday as usual. See you then. So, um, goodbye. Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just $2. And as always, if you thought it was horrible, you know where to find me and complain about it.